If you're ever late again, I'll rip out your heart and serve it for lunch. What? That is aggressive, dude. But okay. Hello ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, and welcome to Gent Watches Videos. And you guys seem to really like my school bus, uh, school bus creepy video from a few days ago. So I thought I'd try out another one. This one's called My First Day at Middle School, a sixth grade scary creepypasta story. Uh, so it's not the, it's not, it's not exactly the same thing, but it's still, it's still something, something that's very similar. It's by the same people, I think. Don't turn around, I think their names are. Um, so it's it's the same sort of story, uh, and uh, and so we're gonna we're gonna try it out. We're gonna do our best. If you guys like this type of video, how about you guys let me know down in the comment section below and like the video and subscribe if you haven't already, because uh, I do daily content and so it's worth subscribing. Because uh, it it's worth subscribing. Trust me, trust me. Uh, so we're gonna go through this. My first day at middle school. It's gonna be a bit spooky, uh, but we'll, we'll get through it together. All right. I'll try to make us less spooked. For whatever it is, alright? I'm gonna turn the sound down quite a bit because it's mostly gonna be reading. My first day. Oh. It's not gonna narrate it, is it? Okay, I don't need it to narrate it. The concept strikes fear. Just so much of it is unknown. New teachers, new classes, an overwhelming tidal wave of new students. Today was Connor's first day. He woke at six as his cat adjusted herself on his pillow. He hit the shower and got dressed. Alright. Okay, seems pretty pretty simple so far. He decided a few months ago that dad would... Wait, hold on, I needed to read that. <laughs> that it, it went way too fast for me, so I'm going to have to pause it every once in a while. Okay, here we go. So, he decided a few months ago that dad would drop him off a block away. And he'd walk to the entrance himself. His dad pulled up curbside. And Connor got out. As he approached the school, Connor looked for his friends from elementary. Okay, alright. He was also trying to avoid the pole. What is the pole? The pole. Okay. The pole was the elementary school bully. Okay, alright. His name is the pole? Tall and thin like a pole. Well, that's why then. <laughs> this is the one guy Connor could do without. Alright, okay, alright, let's get through this. Connor walked through the front entrance into the main hallway. Alright. Every kid held onto a piece of paper which showed which classroom they should go to. Pretty standard, pretty standard. Connor's class schedule told him that a new student assembly was to be held in room 8. Suddenly, dread surged through his body. And as, as at the far end of the hallway, he saw the pole. The pole. The pole hadn't noticed Connor yet. So Connor slowly backed up. He smashed into a girl running down the hallway. Her books went flying. Her, his schedule hit the ground also. She scooped hers up without any apology and ran off. Hmm. Not even a sorry? Okay. He picked up his paper, but something seemed strange. What's, what seems strange? It was creased like a triangle. Wait, it was creased like a tri- Okay, yep. Connor didn't remember folding it like that. Huh? He didn't recall his first class being in room B. He thought it said room 8. Okay. Wait, room B and room 8. So they number some of them and they letter the others? Wait. Wait. Yeah, they, apparently they have rooms A, B, C, D, E, and then they also have rooms 1, 2, 3, 4, okay. Well, I guess it c can make sense, but normally you'd keep it. Doesn't matter. Uh, okay, so someone, so the pole probably switched, oh no, the girl probably did. The girl probably switched their numbers? Or maybe the girl accidentally did it, or maybe the pole did it. Who knows, we'll find out. He thought it said roommate. Hmm, perhaps he just read it wrong? Grasping his schedule, he raced to room B. He entered. It was the largest classroom he had ever seen. An auditorium the size of a basketball court, which seemed to look more like a movie theater with its stadium seating. Hmm. It was packed with kids. Well, obviously, it's a school. All of it's gonna be packed with kids. 
but he saw some empty seats in the middle. Just then he brushed elbows with a girl. She smiled cutely back. Center aisle. Oh, before walking into the center aisle. That's cute. He followed. She turned and their eyes met. She smiled again, then she sat down. Ooh, maybe this is a love story, not a scary story. He sat next to her and the room hushed. A teacher walked to the front and center, to the podium. In the silence, Connor could hear every step. Do, do, the teacher was tall and thin. Was he the pole? Was he the pole or is he like the father of the pole? Or like the pole turned into an adult? I don't know, creepy looking. Welcome to your first day of sixth grade at Pierk Middle School. Hmm. There was something bizarre about the teacher's face. He le his left eye was blinking uncontrollably. The left eye would blink, then the right eye would blink. It was odd. Connor had never seen anything like it. Well, I know most of you. I've seen a few. I see a few fresh, fresh faces I don't recognize. <laughs> oh man, this is a long video. I just realized. <laughs> All right, stand up if you're new. What? <laughs> Why is he so shocked by that? He's like, what? Uh, this was embarrassing. Oh, okay, I see. But the girl next to him stood. Ah, I stood two boys a few rows down. Connor slowly rose from his seat as 200 eyes lashed onto him. Introduce yourselves. The two boys said their names were Zach, Zach Nid and Rashbird. Okay. The girl said and she was... The girl said she was a Rashbird too. I'm sorry? Can I read that again? What does that mean? Introduce yourselves. The two boys said their names were Zach Nid and Rashbird. <laughs> The girl said she was a rash bird too. Okay, so her name's also rash bird? Okay, huh? It was a really strange name for both of them to have. There we go. But Connor didn't have too much time to really think about it. And now it was his turn. He was about to speak when a large bang came from the back of the room. Hmm. All eyes turned to where an out of breath girl entered at breakneck speed. <laughs> Sit down. <laughs> Hold on. That that girl. Oh, it's the same girl. She was the girl who bumped into Connor in the hallway and didn't say sorry. Hmm. Okay. All right. If she was in this class, then that meant Connor was in the wrong place. That's true. That's true. You're supposed to be a roommate. If you're ever late again, I'll rip out your heart and serve it for lunch. What? That is aggressive, dude. But okay. I'll rip out your heart and serve it for lunch. Whoa. That teacher was scary. No wonder everyone was so quiet. Hmm. The girl rushed to an empty seat. Connor sat down too. But happy he didn't have to announce himself to the entire class. Today's lesson is a refresher on the creatures among us. The creatures amongst us? Werewolves, vampires, snakeheads, spider crawlers, zachnids and rash birds. Uh, okay, they're... Zachnids and rash birds, they're just spooky creatures? It's gonna be, huh? We fall into those seven categories. He's at a monster school. What? He's at a werewolf... Okay. Okay. So he's... Okay, let me just take a bite of this. Hmm. So he's... He's somehow found himself in some sort of monster school. From the looks of it. Huh? What on earth is he talking about? Kind of glanced around the auditorium and noticed there were vampires. No, all listened intently. All eyes were on the teacher. It was very strange. They were all staring like robots. While we live amongst them and go to school with them, the humans, we must never let them know we exist. That he walked into the wrong class and that was bad because 
Okay, so he accidentally stumbled into this room. This is a bad place for a meeting, by the way. Just in plain sight to an entire auditorium. Death to you and your family awaits anyone who does so. Okay. Okay. Alright. Okay. Separate into your species. Vampires in this corner. At that, many stood and walked to the corner. Werewolves, over here, please. Half the remaining kids stood. For a split second, Connor looked around for hidden cameras. Was this a first day prank? Spider crawlers to the ceiling. To the ceiling! The worst chill imaginable overtook Connor's body. Are they just gonna go... <laughs> <laughs> As kids crawled up the walls, oh my goodness, and stuck above him. Hmm. He n now knew this wasn't a joke. Snakeheads! Are there any snakeheads? A sad looking boy raised his hand. You, over here, by me. The boy sheepishly walked over to the teacher. Zachnid's here. Connor frantically looked around. Was he the only one who didn't belong? Rashbirds, this corner. Hmm, the girl next to Connor stood. It was then he noticed a rash on the side of her neck. Ah, rash. Others who joined her in the corner also had the same rash. Okay, that's what makes you a rash bird. Connor didn't know what to do. Should he follow? Would he be find out? found out? He hesitated and then went for the exit. But the door was locked. Unfortunately, the vampires had noticed the attempted escape. Uh, and as he whistled among, among themselves, their piercing eyes latched upon him. He started to back away. But then the, so they saw the spider crawlers above him, circling him on the ceiling. Tears drizzled from his eyes, realizing everyone was watching him. You're not one of us. Mm. Wait, why is there so much of a silence? There wasn't anywhere for him to go. He slowly shook his head. No. Class, may this be a lesson to you all. Oh no. If the human is allowed to leave here, then our secret will be out. Oh no. They will hunt us down and kill us. Oh no. He turned back to Connor. Your fear will be over shortly. Oh no. The teacher motioned the sad boy towards Connor. Kill. The sad boy opened his jaw wide. <gasps> Kill! Kill! A snakehead shot out of the boy's mouth and it lashed its teeth onto Connor's face. Connor's head snapped back and... Connor woke as the, his cat adjusted herself on the pillow. Wait, it was all a dream? Still shaken from his dream, Connor approached the shower. It wasn't, there's gonna be more to it. It, it probably ended up being real. The dream had felt so real and Connor was still nervous. Hmm. Of course, his parents thought it was because this was the first day in middle school. Yes, of course. As his dad dropped him off at the corner, he felt a horrible feeling of deja vu. Connor walked through the front entrance into the school. Oh no, what's gonna happen? Where he saw everyone with their class schedules in hand. Is he gonna bump into the girl? Still dazed, he glanced towards the pole. Oh, the pole's still there at the far end of the hallway. Wham! The unapologetic girl with the books crashed into him. Again, she scooped up the wrong schedule, but before he could tell her... Oh no, she rushed away. Nervously, he watched her disappear around the corner. Connor slowly went down and picked up the dropped piece of paper. Is it going to say B again? He flipped it over. And surely enough, it was the girls. Yep. Just go to room 8 this time. Just go to room 8. His eyes instantly locked onto a trash bin. Yes, but as he was about, just as he was going to throw it away, he was shoved forward, falling hard on the ground. As he looked up, the pole towered over him. Oops! The pole snatched Connor's paper from his hand. Where's assembly? The pole looked over the schedule. Room B. He scrunched it up into a ball and then threw it at Connor. I'll see you at recess. Ah, the pole shoved Connor back. Is the pole going to go to the, as the assembly and then get eaten? Hmm. Then walked away. Wait. If the bully read the girl's paper, then he was on his way to the snakehead room. Connor had to do something. Wait. The bully turned around. What? Connor paused. Oh, nothing. 
That's it, I think. I think that's it. I'm pretty sure this is just a ending thing. If you like our stories. Okay. Okay. We completed my first day at middle school. So, okay. So the boy went to school. He found out there were vampires and rash birds and spider crawlers and all these other uh, monsters that lived in the world. And then he went, he accidentally ended up in the wrong place. And he went in there and he found out, oh no, they're going to kill me. And they killed him, but it was all a dream and he woke up. But the dream was telling him that it was going to happen again. So he went back to the school, well, he went to the school and then the bully was going to go there and he didn't stop him. So uh, that's pretty interesting. That's, that's very interesting. Do you think he should have stopped him? Do you think he should have told the bully, wait, don't. Don't go there. Or do you think that he that the bully should have gone there for being so mean? Um, or do you think maybe maybe it wasn't actually like maybe his dream was wrong? Maybe they would have been fine. Who knows? We actually don't know how it ended up. Anyway, I'm gonna wrap this video up. But uh, this was good. If you like these sort of uh, creepy stories, let me know down in the comment section below that you enjoy it. And make sure to like and subscribe for daily content. Every single day there's a new video, so you definitely should subscribe just because what if there's a video that you like? I'm sure there will be somewhere. So make sure to subscribe. I love you guys so much. Um, and go to my Hello Juniper page, link in the description, to get yourself some Gent Plays points, which can get you a bunch of stuff as well. So do that. Thanks for watching, guys. I love you so much. Have a great day. Goodbye. Mwah.